Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us. Today, we have a very special session with Dr. Robert Spinner from Mayo Clinic. His specialty is peripheral nerve surgery. He will be giving us a general talk regarding management of peripheral nerve disorders. This talk will be also especially important for those who are preparing to take their oral boards. Rob, thank you for your time, and please go ahead. Thanks, Aaron, for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with you all. Uh, to discuss some of the pearls of peripheral nerve surgery. In general, I'd like to talk about four different things today, all relating to the subspecialty and for boards. Uh, injury, entrapments, nerve tumors, and nerve pain. Uh, these topics will supplement and complement some of the review courses that I do for other venues, including the Goodman course, so this will be presented in a different fashion. I'd like to start with injury, focusing on nerve repair and nerve reconstruction. In general, there are many options, ranging from nerve repair directly to neurolysis, nerve grafting, uh, some new use of nerve tubes, nerve transfer, and some other items that I'm not going to discuss today. I think the items in white are the important ones for life and for your boards. So assuming favorable circumstances, nerve repair, neurolysis, nerve grafting, and nerve transfers work. Favorable circumstances can be divided into different topics. Items that you can control as a surgeon, the timing of the repair and the technique of the reconstruction, and then items that you can't control, the patient, the place, the nerve and the location of the injury, and the type of injury, the pattern of injury. Timing. We're surgeons, we like to operate, but it's important to operate at the right time whenever possible. There's a rule of threes that I've amended to a rule of threes plus one. Three days, three weeks, three months, and one year. Early surgery, less than three days, is indicated for lacerations or suspected lacerations when the nerve would be in discontinuity. Subacute would be three weeks, and that's for a transected injury that's blunt or ragged rather than a clean cut. A chronic injury, three months or so, would be for lesions in continuity that are closed. Delayed surgery greater than one year is a salvage type approach that oftentimes one needs plastic surgeons or hand surgeons to help with some of the options that are available. As I mentioned, Early surgery, less than three days, would be for sharp transections such as stab wounds that might occur from glass, knife, or razor injury. The advantage of early surgery in this setting is, is that the fascicular anatomy can be well-defined and easily opposed, and you can oftentimes achieve a single suture line, which is better than having to interpose a nerve graft which would then demand two sets of nerve repairs. The subacute repair would be something like this with a propeller blade or a chainsaw where the nerve is suspected of being uh, in discontinuity, but the ends may not be fresh and one would leave a certain amount of time, namely several weeks, for the nerve uh, to uh, define itself. So here the definition of the extent of the nerve pathology can be done several weeks later. The repair can be done at that time after you can resect back to healthy tissue because in other words acutely one might not be able to define where the injury starts and stops. So if exploring acutely and you see a jagged end what many people would do would be to tack, them the, tack down the nerve ends on some tension to fascial planes using metallic staples so that you could find the ends when you go back in time. Delayed surgery is done for 